Welcome to this first video of what is intended to become a series on working with train controller. My name is Ruud and as a hobby I'm currently building a DCC controlled model railway layout. Uh, I do keep a blog of the progress, a website, and maybe if you're interested then please do a search for Rudy's model railway and you'll end up over there. I do like to control my layout with a PC program to automate it and there are a few around and I did try a lot of them and all have their quirks and pro and cons obviously and then I came across this program called train controller and all of a sudden it had this very nice click with me I, I just like it a lot and I thought it may be a nice idea to record some videos and show how to work with the program and going through all the steps of connecting my layout and automating it. In this first video we are going to download and install the software and then we need to connect to our command station and if that is accomplished then we are all set and done to run some trains which is what we are immediately going to do in the second video. Let's have a look how we can accomplish this. Uh, first of all we go to the website the website is uh, frywald.com as you can see over here and if you are on that website then this is the home page maybe you first like to read a bit more about the product and uh, that can be done by going through to this uh, product menu through the products page and then click the model railroad computer control icon it opens up a new page with a lot of information and scrolling down, down that page uh, you'll notice that there are actually three versions of the software they are called the bronze, the silver and the gold version and they have different feature sets the gold has the more advanced features uh, but obviously alas there's also a different price tag and it may be worthwhile to figure out before you buy which of the three versions will cover your needs to do that of course you could read further and clicking on one of these links will lead to a more detailed information page and down those pages at the very bottom there is an interesting link if you click that it opens up a long list of features so you can check which features are included in which version and that may help a lot to figure out what, uh, what, what type will cover your needs well there is another way, a better way to figure out uh, if you like the program and that is to download a demo which can be done via this download page. This download page uh, makes available gold, silver and bronze downloads and those demos are fully functional uh, but with this one limitation of 30 days of usage. They are not the same as calendar days so you may still take your time and try to figure out which of the three versions is best for you. Let's do that. Let's download the gold version and click that button and we end up to save that file and well obviously it now is going to download and um, as you can see that is quite fast process because it's only 15 megabytes uh, file size not too big when we are done I am going to have a look at my file manager and here is the uh, setup uh, file I click that and then hit run and let me get rid of that window to have less clutter we are now in the setup window we can select a language I do the English language and I click next then we need to agree with some stuff and I will do that and click next then it asks where do you want to install the software and well for me the default location is fine so I do click next and then it is going to create for us a start menu entry a desktop icon and it registers the files well I can agree with all of that and I click next if we start then uh, we, are, we, we, we are set and done so let's do that um, the installation as you can see well it was even faster than the blink of an eye uh, the start of the program follows when I click finish well I, uh, that's okay with me let's have a look there it is and 
it does start up with this uh, window where it asks for a registration code. Well, maybe if you have already bought the software, you have that code, or maybe you have a USB dongle, and then you obviously will use that. Uh, if you still want to try it out, then go over here to the demo mode, and then let's see what happens. Aha, well, we are greeted with a, a window that already contains a demo layout. Well, let's not have a look at that today, uh, because we have first one major step to accomplish, and that is to connect our command station. If the window to connect your command station did not automatically open, please go uh, to the left uh, top and hit the railroad menu, and there the setup digital system. And that will open up the window where you can add your system by simply clicking this add button and then selecting your system from this drop down list. There are many systems uh, available over here in this list. If yours is not in this list, well then obviously there's nothing we can do about it, uh, but the chances are 98% that it is. It might be a good thing at this moment to first switch on your command station to, to uh, enable the connection. And also maybe to read your manual, the user manual of the command station, to find out which uh, things you need to do and, and, and to set up to make the connection. With the train controller, all that is needed with most of these systems is just some configuration data. Uh, okay, I have an ISU ECOS uh, system, so let me scroll down this list and click on the ISU and then the ECOS. And then it asks, because the ECOS is an uh, Ethernet connected uh, system, it asks an IP address. Well, I have configured my ECOS with a fixed address, so I know that by heart, and this is all I need to do. For different systems or different types, it may, be, it may of course differ, because other systems have a USB connection or maybe a serial uh, connection with a COM port you need to configure. So please do read uh, the manual. Now I have two systems over here. Uh, the lens was uh, there by default, but I do not own a lens system, so let's just remove that. And then I end up with only my eagles, which is fine. And now I click OK, and I should have a go. How can I see that I am connected? Well, first of all, if the, in, the Ethernet connection is there, it, it, I should be on the same router. That, uh, that is a necessity. But I can see over here that I am online. Can I trust that? Well, obviously I can, but let's just check it out. And uh, the simplest way to check out if you have a connection with your command station is to go over here and uh, use these buttons, the power off and, well, the power on button. And as you can see, my light went on. Well, let me power off again and see what happens. And then let me power on again and off again. Well, as you can see in the pop-up window, my connection was okay. The system reacted. So it looks like I'm all ready to drive a train and well that's fun of course and that is the subject of the next video maybe see you back there bye bye and thank you for watching